if you are justice, please do not mourn. What is the price for your blind eye? Dude, I really shouldn't have picked this shirt because really highlights the weak point of my physique, which is my arms. I don't think there's a shirt that would highlight my back that well, which is my strong point. Maybe I just need to like stop, just get everything bigger, you know? You guys are gonna see, I got new plates for the home gym. I got three. The fourth one is on its way, I just bought it. Um, man, I really wanna get my hair cut. Like, I just got it cut like two or three weeks ago, but like, I don't know, I want to cut it again and like get a haircut I like, you know? Because this one, it's just like, it's just not doing it for me. It's really, it's really inconsistent, you know? It either looks, it either looks good or terrible, you know? Depending on what I did with it, how I styled it, if I washed it or not. You know, like a lot of the stars have to align for it to look satisfactory to me. I literally can't stand these hairs to like stand up. Like I literally look like cheek of the chicken, bro. But I've been thinking, um, you know how when someone goes on steroids, it's often talked as going to the dark side. But now that I've been getting back into Star Wars again, I know I'm a nerd. Um, I'm starting to realize like it's, there's a lot of overlap, you know? Like turning to the dark side in either sense is it's quick, it's seductive, it makes you very powerful in a very short amount of time. But it does a lot of damage to your body and your mind over time. Um, and you can never be the same once you, even if you stop, you'll never be the same. And it'll have long lasting effects no matter how much you use, if you use it even a little bit, if you give in, it's always gonna be with you, you know? Like when you get off steroids, it's gonna follow you for the rest of your life. You can never claim natural again. You're gonna have, it's gonna be hard to break the addiction to it. Even if you haven't developed it, it's gonna be hard to come off, you know? So I plan on staying in the light myself, um, at least until I hit my natural genetic potential. Um, but it's, it's completely off the table for me, at least right now. Um, until I can, until I understand that I'm at my genetic potential or very close to it, it's not even a question. It's not even a discussion. I won't do it. But yeah, my 17th birthday is in February and the plan right now is I kind of want to have a mock powerlifting meet with my friends where we all just test our one rep maxes, you know? And being that I've been wanting to compete for a while now, like I don't, not, I don't want to yet, but it's something I want to do in my life. Um, I feel like giving myself a time and a date for this powerlifting meet, pow, you know, powerlifting me. I feel like it'll be interesting, you know, teach me a lot about, or help me just get into the swing of things with seeing what it's like to prep for a meet, you know, and stuff like that. So, I feel like it's a fun way to spice things up, but I don't know. The goals by then are, I wanna, I wanna bench 255, squat 315, and I don't know what I'll deadlift, 365. I don't know, those are the goals. I don't deadlift right now because, I don't know, I just don't like to really. I really should if I want to bring it up. But uh, deadlifting is really awkward for me at my height and my leverages. Although I'm thinking about switching up my workout split to, uh, like when I want to put on strength, I think the best way to do it would be push-pull legs where you start the week with pull doing deadlifts, and then you do push, which is bench, and then legs with just squat, and then rest and repeat. I think that would be good for when I want to power lift. For now though, I'm thinking about doing a like modified Arnold split because I really want to bring up my shoulders and arms. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do shoulders and arms, legs, chest and back, rest, repeat. Which that would have to be an asynchronous split because I'm, I have to put a rest day in between. Like, like I'm not just gonna not leave that rest day in there. But you know, I think an asynchronous split is okay in most cases. Also, we've ran through most genres in these videos, so I think it's time. I think we have to do EDM music and pop music still, and then we'll, we'll go through every genre. Instead of EDM, we're doing pop. I changed my mind.
did y'all see that? I don't know if y'all saw that, but like, that just messed me up. I feel like I just wasted my energy. But also, I forgot to say, I have a bench that does, um, I have this old bench that has an extension for leg curls and leg extensions, so we're gonna be doing that. All right, so this is 245. I'm gonna try and, no, this is 255. I'm gonna unrack it, do a static hold, then go down to 245 and try to hit a double. Basically, if I don't get this for two reps, I might jump off the building. Not, not terrible, it could have been better. I don't know why my camera's like this. Something's up with it. So I'm, I'm gonna go higher reps. This is 195, I'm just gonna rep it out. So when I'm at the gym hitting legs, I normally do hyperextensions, but um, I go do hyperextensions with dumbbells and then I'll drop the dumbbells after I hit failure, go to failure with my body weight and do negatives. But here I don't have a hyperextension or dumbbells. So what I think I'll do is I'll go uh, stiff legged deadlifts to failure. And then once I hit failure, I'm gonna go sumo deadlift to failure with the same weight. Also, I know the plates are gonna look uneven I'm gonna do two plates on one side and then a plate 25 and two tens on the other one. Don't question it, I don't have my four plates yet. It'll be fine for now.
That is killer. If you have your form down, I definitely recommend trying that. It's good stuff. We got his hamstring curls and then no we got hamstring curls squat extensions and then I don't know something else calves yeah I've never done these before at home, so I don't know if these if uh, this weight is good or not.
All right, so that was leg day. I know I didn't say a lot, but didn't really think of anything to say. Threw on some neck there at the end, just because I haven't hit neck in a while. So definitely want to keep those gains going. Definitely progress. Not a lot, but yeah, there's definitely some. Try out the superset, um, the mechanical drop set, stiff legged deadlift or RDL into deadlift to failure. I did, first set I think I did just sumo, second set I think I did conventional to failure, and then sumo to failure. I don't know though, felt pretty good, I think I'm going to keep doing it, especially when I get crash pads soon, that'll, I don't know if I will ever get crash pads, but if I do, I'll definitely keep doing that, that was a great mechanical drop set. I am aware that the anabolic window is an outdated myth and whatnot, but I do just like eating after my workout, like, I don't know what it is, I think just getting in some protein right after my workout. I don't know, mentally it just makes me feel better than waiting, you know? But yeah, my parents either usually get me this stuff, which is like pre-cooked, and it's great because I can just throw it in the microwave for three minutes and then it's ready. And then also sometimes they'll get me like this huge bag of chicken breast that I can just cook for myself. And there's pros and cons to both because these bags that are pre-cooked right here, they taste great. They taste about the same. And like, it's way easier to cook, but the thing is, this whole bag is 10 bucks. And it only lasts me for, if I want to eat till I'm, I'm like pretty much full or have gotten a decent meal, I can get two meals out of that. Um, if I really, if I'm okay with going hungry or I don't have an appetite, I can push it to three. But so, you know, run out, I run out a lot quicker with those. Um, and the pro to the uh, chicken breast that I just cooked myself, there's a lot more of it, meaning I could not really have to worry about running out very much. I can eat as much as I want. It just takes longer to cook it, you know? So, it's pros and cons to both. I like both, and they're both fine. So, I don't know, just some, as long as I'm getting some kind of protein in, like, I, I can make my own protein and don't have to rely on just eating dinner as my only meal of protein, I'm fine. So, I don't like to get too picky with it. Yeah, I'm gonna let that cook, and then I have to, uh, then I'm gonna eat it, and then vacuum, and then I gotta do some homework, and then I'll probably start editing the video. And uh, maybe I'll have it out the same night as I film it. Probably not, considering all the homework I have to do. But you know what? I'll try. I'll at least put a dent in it. I don't know where to go with my videos. I know these don't have very much watch value. Like, there isn't much of a reason to watch this over something else. And I'm, I'm looking for it, you know? Once I start working out with people again, um, like more, like more than just me and one friend, like I can have a filmer, someone film while the other two people work out. I feel like that would be, and switch out every set, you know? I feel like that would make the videos more interesting, you know, it's not just me doing exercises and occasionally talking to the camera about my thoughts, but you know, 